All right, so this is the next day after we baled all the straw. Well, we didn't get all the straw baled because of rain uh, at about 6.45 yesterday. It started raining, just sprinkling on us, and we quit baling because the uh, straw, the windrows were getting wet, obviously, but we did continue to get the, the straw out of the field. It was just a, a light sprinkle, and I think the straw will be just fine. Um, we got up, we ended up getting up close to 1,300 bales and putting them inside yesterday. Uh, I feel like it would have been about 1,500 if we hadn't got rained out, and we would have got it all done easily if it hadn't been for the rain, but that's just the way farming is sometimes. But uh, I wanted to go over this Massey Ferguson tractor with y'all while it was still here. Um, didn't get to do a walk around yesterday, just didn't have time. So anyway, we'll start here out on the outside. Uh, it's got the 931X loader on it. You can get ride control on this loader. I don't believe this one has it. Pretty sure it doesn't have it. Um, I believe this is the same loader that was on the, the 4600 Massey's. Um, it does have, you can get a third function on it. It's not a live third function, uh, but neither is one on my T5. Um, it does have the skid steer type quick connect on it, which that's what I like to use because we have so many skid steers. That way everything changes, will interchange with it. Um, has a nice set of uh, double steps. It's easy to get in and out. It's a good wide door to get in and out of. I see it's got a toolbox on it here. I like that it comes with lights down here and on the cab. The My T5 didn't come with these lights. Y'all can look back in some of my videos. I put lights on it down here. They're not LED lights on this tractor. I don't know if if LED lights were an option or not, but if I was buying this tractor, I would definitely want LED lights on it. It does have the buttons on the fenders for the lift, so you can move it while you're hooking it up out here. That's always a handy feature. Um, got a rear wiper. This has got this overhang has something to do with the air conditioner. I'm pretty sure. It's two work lights on the back. There's not four on it, just two. Um, everything back here is pretty standard. It's got two remotes on it. Um, somewhere back here, right here it is. There's a lever right here. It's got uh, 540 and 1000 it doesn't have 540e that might be an option but i'm not sure but you see that neutral that's a handy thing when you're trying to hook up an implement or hook up a pto shaft to this tractor you can put that lever in neutral and the cap is still on the pto on this but if you put it in neutral you can twist the shaft by hand even with the tractor running and line your implement, uh, line your PTO splines up much easier. Uh, one thing we did do yesterday, this tractor was was basically brand new. We uh, adjusted these links a little bit longer. The lift arms would only go down to about two foot off the ground, and I couldn't get the trailer unhooked, even with the jack down. So we uh, lengthen those, but that's normal. They come screwed all the way in from the factory on all tractors. Um, this does have electronic uh, lift control in the cab, and I'll show you about that in a minute. We'll go over to this side. It's got the controls on this side. It's got nice mirrors on it. They're extendable. They're actually the, the exact same mirrors that are on my T6030. I mean, they look identical to them. Even the arms and the knobs and everything. So they must get those from the same supplier. New Holland must get theirs. Uh, 
right here is where the death tank is i wondered where it was at um doesn't appear to have the quick connect on it you just have to individually unhook each line which isn't isn't too bad where you can get to them here um some of them it's tucked up under the cab and stuff like my tn95 they're a pain in the butt but that right there wouldn't be too bad um one thing i was fussing about yesterday was the uh it wouldn't turn very short but uh i had permission to i got permission to move the the steering stock and this is one thing you can do these axles and the new Holland axles are just like this. You can, if your tractor doesn't steer very short, you can adjust that stop right there to uh, to make it steer basically as short as you want it to, as long as your tires don't interfere with with the uh, frame of the tractor. If you, what you want to do is adjust it and then turn your wheels all the way. And make sure it still clears right in here and and you may also want to articulate the front axle and what i mean by that is like driving in a ditch so your axle pivots turn the wheels all the way make sure you're not hitting anything but uh that is a good thing to remember you can do um if you have the clearance you can uh you can do that on most tractors adjust those stops and get more steering capability out of the tractor uh it was just terrible when i first got it but they were run all the way out so that's basically it for the outside of the tractor let's get in the tractor and look around a little bit all right so now we're in the tractor um one thing i do like about this tractor um that i like better even than my t5 is the shuttle my T5's got that shuttle that when you push it up and let go, it goes always goes back to the neutral position. And that, I've gotten used to that and it works all right. It, it works good and it's got a button on it you push in, on the end to put it in neutral and that's on my T5. The, the only thing is, is if you have your hand up here, I don't like to have to look to see what direction I'm going. And it does show you on the display, but I like to be able to feel with my hand which direction I'm going so I don't have to look or or remember. So I do like this um, this shuttle better than the one in my T5. And I also like that once you put this in gear, if you want to clutch, you can pick it up like that and it goes back to neutral without having to push the, the manual foot clutch. Um, there's also a clutch on this gear stick right here and that's a handy feature because you can use that to shift gears and never have to push the foot, foot clutch and it does change very smooth um, every time I shifted yesterday that's how I did it and it changes very smoothly I was very very impressed with that um, the T4 that I had had that on and I always liked that feature about it um this tractor does have uh tilt steering and uh, you use this lever you push it to tilt it and it does it also has telescopic steering by pulling on it and then you can telescope the steering wheel and the 4600 doesn't have that feature as far as i know i couldn't ever figure it out if it does um so the steering wheel on it was always too low for me this one i can get it right up here where i like it with my short arms and uh, speaking of short arms that's one thing about this tractor um and my t4 too so i can't just pick on this tractor the the, the joystick is too far away from my my liking i have to stretch my arm all the way out just to reach it now if i want to let it down i'm i'm in this position where i have to lean forward to let it down and that's how my t4 was and that's that makes my back hurt after hours and hours of use but 
it just must be my arms because these manufacturers insist on putting the joysticks up there somewhere so it must just be me um one thing one other thing i noticed this tractor has is um it has an auto four-wheel drive and you you click it and it goes to auto or you click it again and locks it in uh full time and that's a pretty nice feature and uh you know so i'm i'm pretty sure it auto brakes and, and i'm not sure what all controls when it goes into full wheel drive and auto but i'm sure the brakes control it like on the on my t5 um here is the electronic controls for the uh for the three-point hitch that i was talking about and it i like this this is nice um it works good it's easy to move and you ain't got the big lever over here that you got to operate of course here's your pto um there's cup holders on both sides of this tractor and little cubby holes the cup holders aren't very deep i noticed my water kept yesterday kept falling over but that's just typical um the ignition is over here that's a little bit difficult for me to get to or not get to but it's difficult for me to comprehend every time i get in here i want to reach up here and and it's not up there it's over here um here's your rear wiper control here is uh the work light controls the uh the main light switch is down here under the steering wheel to turn on all the lights this switch controls all of them the the work lights won't come on until that switch down there is on and then you can uh, turn the toggle the work lights on and off like if you get on the road you can just turn the work lights off at night so you're not blinding people um this right here is for draft control and i'm not sure what that button is for because um i don't have an owner's manual that i know of but it looks like some type of linkage suspension maybe but i'm not sure uh, well i think it's just a blank plug because there's nothing it's just there's nothing there i thought it was a button but there's nothing there it's just a rubber plug where another knob could be looks like so it's an optional something this tractor doesn't have. Um, oh, and beside the four-wheel drive, you have the, the diff lock, of course. Um, up here, you got the stereo, cause every tractor needs some music in it. And here's your air conditioning controls, um, fan, and the, you know the typical stuff up here. Um, it's got vents all the way around you in the ceiling and uh it it done okay yesterday the sun never was really that hot but i run it as wide open all day yesterday and it, it just kept me comfortable it didn't really freeze me out so i don't know if it's a little low on freon or if it's if it's just the nature of this tractor um but i didn't you know i didn't run it enough and you know hotter weather sometimes make them feel like they're working better and overcast humid weather sometimes they don't air conditions don't seem to work as good because of all the water they're having to deal with but anyway um front wiper front wiper controls are right here which i like it does have an intermittent delay right there and that's a really nice feature my t5 has that um there's more buttons down here you got uh these control the screen and i never did play with the screen yesterday i did notice it shows the death level um it shows how many miles you put on it and i'm sure it shows hours um i think it has an acre counter on it from what i could tell but it, like i said i didn't mess with all that um but one thing it uh it does have that my t5 has is an auto i seen this button yesterday but i wasn't sure what it was but now i know that it is i played with it some this is the auto throttle setting so like let's say uh your pto 540 uh 
operates at 2200 rpm you can set this button to automatically take the rpms to 2200 rpms when you push it and you don't have to move this lever and adjust it to perfectly 2200 rpms every time you just hit this button it goes to the correct rpms and you begin your work and it makes it i like it in my t5 it just makes it a little bit easier um, to get going instead of having to sit here and push this up and it's not quite there and you push it up a little more and then you got too much and you pull it back a little bit and you know you operate a tractor you know what i'm talking about just the uh, convenience features that uh makes these tra newer tractors a little nicer to operate um, of course the back window opens um, down here is a 12 volt plug if you want to charge your phone there's a couple of other plugs down there. I know one of them's a diagnostic plug. I don't know what the other one's for. Um, mirror in the cab. There is a nice uh, storage compartment right here. Um, that is a very nice feature. My tractor, my T5 has a storage compartment over here, but it's <laughs> it's about a, a fifth of the size of this one. This is a nice big storage compartment. I like that there's also a net down here that that you can put stuff in looks like they've got some baler twine they probably took off a bale or something laying in there um that does have a hand brake parking brake over here i like that because that's the way my new hollands are some people don't like that <coughs> some people like the park some people like the the uh the foot brake type where you lock the pedals down um i'm not a big fan of those because the levers are always down here where i can't reach them with my short arms again because i i just can't reach my feet very well um and let's see this seat the seat's nice the armrests are long enough for me they're adjustable the height of the uh of them are adjustable here um it the seat i'm pretty pleased with it does swivel to the right so you can look over your shoulder easier the seat is nice um i could live with the seat um my t4 had a similar seat but the armrests were short and unusable that was one of the biggest problems with it and the bottom was short i felt like i was always sliding out of it um this tractor's transmission is a 12 speed it has a high and low lever down here underneath the armrest you and uh, and then you have six gears and low and six gears and high makes it a 12 speed that would be about the only reason I wouldn't buy this tractor because of 12 speed transmission not because I dislike it, I like dislike the transmission or the tractor, but because I would rather have a 16 or a 24 speed for pulling a square baler. Uh, with a 12 speed, if you ever pull a square baler, you know what I'm talking about. You're either going too fast or too slow. It seems like you can't ever find the right gear that you need. Uh, but I do like Massey's idea on this, and I think Kubota is the same way. You have, uh, instead of having... On New Hollands, you have three ranges with four gears in each range, so you have to change three different ranges if you need looking for gears instead of just uh, two ranges, and then you have more gears in the main stick, and that to me is makes more sense and is easier to use. Um, I would just wish they'd put a dual power or something on that where you had a high and low in each gear, and then that would make this tractor much more appealing to me. Um, and if they do that, I, I would consider trading my TN95 for one of these tractors. My TN95 has a 12-speed in it, like this tractor. Um, and that's why I don't want to go with a 12-speed again, because I just I used to square bell a lot with the TN95, and you just you can't find the right gear. It's just, and I'm not, I don't want to buy another 12-speed transmission and have the same problem. I just, I'd rather have it another tractor I could square bale with easily if I wanted to so enough of me rambling on uh, I think I've covered most everything about this tractor um, 
that I know about it. I'm sure there's some stuff about it that I don't know about. Um, oh, I do know that it's a three-cylinder engine, and it is very quiet in this cab. Um, it's quieter than the 4600. You can run it wide open. I, I mean, I, I've, yesterday there were several times I had it running wide open, and I thought, there's no way this thing's running wide open and going out through the field, but I would need to change gears to the next gear to speed up because I'd look, it sounded like it wasn't even hardly running and I looked down and the tack would be saying 2200 RPM and I think, it don't sound like it's running that fast, but uh, it's just that quiet in here and I was impressed with how quiet it is. Um, so they improved that, they definitely improved that over the, the 4600 I think um, the 4600 also the gear pattern is upside down this one they've got it just like a pickup or anything would be on the 4600 first gears down here and second gears up here and then third and fourth so on this one is it, that would be backwards in my thinking this 4700 they've they've got that fixed they got one two three four like normal straight gear transmission in my opinion that's normal anyway okay so yeah that's my thoughts on this tractor I like it um, it took me some getting used to but I could see myself in one of these if I had more gears I just put it that way so anyway I'll talk to y'all guys later. Um, if you have any questions about this tractor, I can try to answer them. I don't know. I've told you pretty much everything I know. But uh, I guess that'll be all. And I would like to thank uh, Dr. Hickson again for allowing me to use his tractor uh, for this video. And uh, I'd like to thank Terry Slusher again also for arranging everything with Dr. Hickson. And... Uh, and uh, hauling the tractor over here to the job and uh, everything went good and we got the job done and we have no no breakdowns and no damage to any of the equipment um, so you just have to say it was a good day and we'll talk to y'all later